animal control officers say they scan every single stray that they pick up. And these trucks are equipped with universal scanners, so they can even do most of it in the field. Midland Animal Control Officer Pamela Wylot says the only time they don't scan in the field is if an animal seems aggressive or wild, like this cat we found. She says the microchip gives all types of information on the owners. Our dog got loose and um, animal control picked him up and because we had him registered with AVID, um, they were able to locate us. Without the chip, her dog may have never left the pound. We rehomed him several years later and he got out again and Odessa Animal Control picked him up and they were able to, to find me and at least let me know that he had gotten out and attempt to locate his new owners. If all of that stuff is not current, not exactly what it is, we have no way of knowing um, where you've moved to or that your phone number has changed. At the shelter, they can scan over a caged animal, but in the field, they scan closely to the body to make sure that they haven't missed the chip. You know, in rare occasions, the chip won't be, uh, won't get picked up. A lot of times is something's not right in the computer when it was entered in. But still, when they do find the chip, many owners feel like family has returned. You'll get your baby back. I mean, it's, the chip is definitely worth every penny. Wylot says that the best way to make sure that you're reunited with your pet if it gets loose is to make sure that it's chipped, it has its rabies tags, it has all of its updated information and vaccination shots, and to also call your local veterinarians and shelters. The last thing is to make sure that you're walking through the shelter for extra measure. In Midland, Sarah Strackhouse, CBS 7 News.